Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be recommending you guys books based off of metal songs. I've seen some of these going around where it's like usually K-pop, I think, but I don't know how many people on booktube listen to metal, but I still thought I'd make a video and recommend you guys not only some books, but some songs as well. So these are five songs that I adore and I paired some books with them as well. I can't play the songs in this video because of copyright, but I'm gonna put the album cover up and link everything down below if you guys wanna to listen to them. The first song I wanted to talk about today is The Safety of Disbelief by Light the Torch. This is a song that I absolutely adore and it just really, just, it hits me in the feels. And the some of the lyrics go like, I will fail you constantly, I am broken. The, like just talking about the safety of kind of disbelief just like the song title says, but I decided to pick two books for this one. So I went with And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. I love this book. Basically, if you do not know, 10 people are lured to a island and then they all die one by one and you kind of have to solve the mystery, the whodunit kind of situation. So I picked this one to go with this song just because the disbelief and not knowing and the confusion throughout reading this and trying to solve the pieces and, you know, solve the puzzle, figure out the mystery. That's why I t decided to pair this one with that song. And I also decided to grab Retribution Rails by Aaron Bowman. This is actually a second book. The first one is Vengeance Road, but I specifically loved Retribution Rails like so much. Like it's like a five star read for me. It deals a lot with revenge and it's a Western and it's just so, so fun. And I, really loved this. It's a lot about freedom and then there's gangs involved in this as well. So this is just a book that I think is super interesting. Definitely check out the first one. The second one is way better in my opinion. But yes, these two books uh, just really kind of go with that song for me. And while I was listening to it, I kind of thought about these two. So these are two recommendations for you guys. Next up here, I have a song called I Apologize by Five Finger Death Punch. So this song I really like, and I don't know, some people have different opinions about Five Finger Death Punch, but I've seen them live and I, don't, I, I just have a soft spot for them and I really like this song. But I decided to pair The Virgin Suicides with it because basically The Virgin Suicides is a book that I love that I talk about all the time. I haven't really shown this edition much, but it's, um, I got it from thrift books. I have like 11 copies, so this is one of them, but I really like how this one looks as well. It's the movie edition. This is basically about the five Lisbon daughters who all commit suicide. But these boys that live across the street and really admired them and watched them kind of thing. And they tell the story of when they were alive and how all the events played out and how they viewed these girls. Wait, it has a dust jacket and then it's this book underneath. What? What? That's cool. Okay. I associated this book with the song because there is just a lot of guilt going around, not only for the boys, but for the actual family of these girls that committed suicide. So that's why I kind of want to tie that in. If you don't know, I love this book so much. It's one of my, it's literally my favorite book. And yeah, if any of you guys want to read it, let me know. I would love to buddy read it with somebody because I've been wanting to reread it for a little bit now. And it'd be so cool to read it with someone who's never read it before because I've read it a lot. So I don't know, but I, I love this book and I would highly recommend it. And the song, it's a good song. Next song is Bloody Creature Poster Girl by In This Moment. I love this band. They have so many great songs. Horror is a great song. Blood is a good song. There's just, there's so many great songs, especially on this album. But I decided to pair it with Dr. Sleep by Stephen King. So this takes, this is actually the sequel to The Shining. So it takes place after the events of that. So I'm not gonna say too much cause I don't wanna spoil anything. Um, but I believe you, some people can't do read it separate and some people read it in order. Either way, I'd recommend reading The Shining anyways, cause it's incredible. I paired this one with kind of the bloody creature poster girl because I was gonna mention Rose, who is the cult leader in this book. And I just think she just fits really well with a lot of these lyrics. And she's a villain in the story, but she's also really interesting. And she kind of, I don't know, the, the song reminded me of this book. So I decided to share it with you guys, but I read Dr. Sleep a really long time ago and I liked it when I read it. It wasn't better than The Shining for me, but I think I, I really love the movie as well. I have a review for the movie, but I would still recommend checking this out, especially if you love The Shining, then this is definitely like a read for you because you gotta finish off the story. I guess. Next up, I have Headspin by Butcher Babies. I've never listened to this band other than this song. And this song is just incredible. I don't know what it is, but it makes me want to dance. And it's just great. It's just, it's a bop. <laughs> so I wanted to recommend The Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness. This book, I adore 
it's so good it's so dark so there's so many shorter warnings for this book so please be aware of that before picking this up but this is about our main character alex whose sister um was murdered a few years ago but this follows a few perspective of kid like of teenagers going through their own kind of things and our main character alex is dealing with a lot of anger towards the person who murdered her sister obviously this is a very dark book and the first line is what made me pick it up it just says that this is how i kill someone I learn his habits, I know his schedule. It is not difficult. His life consists of quick stops to the dollar store for the bare minimum of things required to keep his rage cycle going. His hat pulled down over his eyes so as not to be recognized. But he is, it's a small town. Like that just, it, it, it's such a good book. I really wanna read more of Minnie McGinnis's work. I have three of her other books, but I just haven't picked them up yet. Again, if anyone wants to buddy read any of her other books, let me know. Lastly, I have I Hate It by Under Oath. I bought the vinyl for this album just for this song. Well, I, I like other songs on this album, but I love this song. The main, the chorus of this song basically says, uh, you're the only thing that gets me high and I hate it. And that's kind of just like what this is about. But I wanted to talk about Everything Beautiful Is Not Yet Ruined by Daniel Young Ullman. This is about our main character Ingrid and her mom was a famous opera singer but due to some situations she's just not anymore and she's not doing that anymore. But yeah she wants to go into music as well but because of her mother's experience she's very skeptical just of her going into music just because she was in music and that didn't really go as planned for her. So this, she makes an agreement with her mother that if she can go, like her mother makes an agreement with her that if she can stay at this wilderness survival camp for the summer, then she can pursue music in the fall. Summer camp is for like runaways and addicts and that kind of thing. So that's why I associated this song with this book. But honestly, this is one of the most beautiful books I've ever read. It was a five star read flat off the bat. I wonder, I have to look into if this author has published more work because I adored this when it came out a few years ago. And it's a really, really great, like dark, darker YA contemporary that deals with a lot of mental health issues. So I would highly recommend checking this one out. There you guys have it. Those are my book recommendations based off of metal songs. Let me know how you like this video in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, thank you so much for supporting me and watching my channel and leaving comments. Um, I love talking to you guys in the comments. So if you have anything to say, go for it. Um, <laughs> yeah i will see you guys all super soon with a new video thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below um, i hope you check out some of these books if you have read them let me know if you're interested in buddy reads let me also know um but yeah if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're new here um and yeah i'll see you all super soon with a new video bye